Hey. Tax time. It's tax time. Taxes? JV, you pay a lot of taxes. I do. They, I don't know what it goes to. They, it goes to the schools. School. You have a kid on the way. You have a I, child on the way that needs an education. Yeah. Send your kid to the school I on the road. You guys are homeschool or public school? Oh, here we go. He's just like, Doug, get into the hot water. Get into the hot water. There's a boiling vat of water, Doug. Please, can you jump into this for yeah. content's sake? You're already in it anyway. I'm already in there. I'm already taking a bath. Yeah. Tax time. Hey! Ready for the Oh, Matt, you like taxes. I don't. No? No. Okay. Why would I? Oh. Does anybody like taxes? The government? <laughs> yeah. <they're... laughs> Actually, we're early. Last year, last year, we filed our taxes like... Are you on this? Right. Uh, yeah, he can be here. Kind of okay. He can do whatever he wants. Well, actually, so big, can I get to the big, I want to go to the big, the big, the big Already. bottom line. Yes. My understanding, and I don't know if you know these numbers off the top of your head. Maybe, Mike, you know these numbers off the top of your head. Does anybody know these numbers? Yeah. So it's like, we had that enormous Kickstarter, yes. and we started purchasing businesses and scaling up and trying to fulfill it. So mm -hmm. in 2020, we lost a bunch of money. Like two million bucks. Yeah. yeah. So in 2020, we lost $2 million. Mm. That sucks. The next year, 2021, that's when we were building the factory, scaling up, but we weren't delivering hardly any orders. So that's when we lost like $6 million. Yeah, correct. So what we are reviewing now is the year after that, 2022. Two. <laughs> How did we do? I don't know. Well, you had a profit. You had a four million dollars. Whoa! <laughs> Mike. I had already. He can read this. Yeah. Get, get all this. Get I that. don't get, put no. that. So we made a four million dollar profit last year. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. But yeah, but we had a six million dollar loss the previous year. And so what does that mean? I don't know. No taxes. <laughs> oh, no taxes. Okay. No taxes because we okay. lost six million. Right. We're so still two million dollars thick. Right. That's the bad news. <laughs> we have to go back a little bit too because remember, for twenty one, we shifted from being cash basis to accrual basis. Um, but anyway, that that's a little technical. Oh. Let me explain. Okay. I actually know this. Oh. Accounting lessons with Doug. Please do. Cue the cue the uh, the theme song. Okay. The way it works is. You have a bank account for your business, and let's say it starts the year at $10,000 and it ends the year at $20,000. It went up $10,000 yep. on a cash basis, that $10,000 increase, that's your profit. You just take a snapshot every year and if it's going up, that's the definition of profit. Sure. If it's going down, that's the definition of loss, and you're taxed on that basis. Mm. Yes. And it's yes. a very, very clean, easy way to run your accounting, especially if you're a small company. But, which we used see to. the problem was, from that standpoint is, when you get your money in advance, like you do in a Kickstarter, you're not gonna count that all as income in that year, so you don't wanna be on the cash basis, you wanna be on the accrual basis. Mm. So you recognize it when you ship the product. Accrual basis accounting is exactly that. You don't recognize the sale when you get the money. Like the money, the cash doesn't matter. What matters is when you complete the sale. It's called deferred revenue, right. and that deferred oh. revenue is a liability. Yeah. Yeah. And see, and that is why we're, the reason I'm guessing, and I don't know this, mm -hmm. yeah. because I don't know how to, I know it's on the streets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Last year, yeah. our productivity skyrocketed. And yeah. that is why we became profitable because we fulfilled more orders, right. because we shipped shit out. I think in 2021, we had something like $12 yeah. million dollar output. Yeah. And last year, what was it? Was it like 30 35, million? 35, 35 million? Yeah, I think it was. Uh... That's good. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. By the way, if we had not basically tripled our output or whatever the fuck that is we would have been insolvent at this point. Yeah. I do, that is not an exaggeration. Yeah. Mm. Last year was a do or die year in terms of execution. Hey, Ed. Ed, you're rich. That's not what my bank account says. <laughs> $4 million profit last year. Wow, that's weird. Like we used, yeah, to, we used to sort of have a small, small amount, amount of profit regularly and then we had two massive losses. Yeah. Massive. We're still negative. It's not a tax problem. <laughs> Great. Did any more states end up being income tax nexus? Oh lord. Yes. <sighs> income tax nexus. You want more Dougie accounting tips? <laughs> the company's income? Four million, yeah. The four million, that's our net, income. Net income, net income. That's our net income. Texas, fucking Texans. If you sell stuff to Texas, yeah. you have to pay the sales tax to Texas. Do you have to like break a certain threshold of- <clears throat> I think so. Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Each, but each day has a different threshold. Oh, fun. The, the higher is yeah. typically a 500, but some are as low as 100. 1,000, I mean. 
500,000. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's on the sales tax. On our website, we have a plugin that handles that sales tax stuff. Okay. And the Texas sales tax will go to Texas. Okay. Okay. We also have to pay income tax now in all these different places. Yeah. Oh, that's brutal. Yes! It's called economic nexus. Yeah. It used to be you had to have a physical presence in a state in order to mm. create right, yes. a tax a taxable event for the company. But what they said is with the new, you know, economy, you don't have to be in the state to be producing what you do. So what we're gonna say is if you sell more than this amount of into our state, you have nexus whether you have a person. It's a screwed up mess. I thought Texas didn't have state income tax. They don't have personal income tax, they mm. have corporate tax. Right. Some <laughs> states cool. do not have tax. So Where? Uh, Wyoming. We're selling to Wyoming. Yeah. But what happens is then Massachusetts says, we're a throwback state. So any sales that are not taxed somewhere else get thrown back to us. What? Yes. Fuck you, Charlie Baker. Is he well, still the guy? Yeah, he's, well, I mean, he might be right now, but he's out. He's, he's out? Who's in? Maura Healy. Maura Healy. Maura Healy? Yeah. Fuck you, Maura <laughs> Healy. Well, she just came up with a uh, plan to drop taxes, didn't she? Did she? Yeah. Thank you, but more Healy. <laughs> what gets me about all it? Because it's like, wow, four million dollars. We, we ain't gonna see any of that. Like, what are you talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. Talk, talk to your, get... talk for yourself, Ed. <laughs> I'm cashing out this I, heard, I would love to have some of that money, but I know what, like, we are recovering from these losses. The reality is, like, we don't, we aren't sitting on piles of. No, so, never okay. Happened. I actually think we're running right now much more profitably than we ever have. We invested, last year we were still building out. The oh yeah, flow. oh yeah. You Majorly. Bought a, you bought a lot of assets last year, no mm. doubt about it, yeah. Um, so I'm actually feeling very, very positive. We have a Kickstarter that's running right now, Modular Game Table. Yeah. yeah. Matt, you've seen it. Uh, okay. We basically have a year of orders coming in and we don't need to build the factor anymore. So I'm actually feeling pretty good about that. You have the infrastructure, so that's good. All right, let's keep going. So I, I looked at it from the individual shareholders' point of view as well, to make sure yeah. that they would be covered this year. There's a little problem with people aren't withholding enough on their W-2s, so they're, Ooh, they're really getting- name little, names. Who is it? <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> I, I can't Who is it? it? You can do it. I cannot. Was it me? Well, you're you actually going to work out okay because you have so many kids. Hey. Uh, <laughs> God, <laughs> <hey>. <laughs> so why are we even talking? So you're just here to congratulate us on our wild success. Well, no, I, want <laughs> I want to tell you where you were at. Um, you have California, you're over a million in sales in Colorado, Illinois, Minnesota, Washington. You're over the threshold in a lot of these. Now, I guess my question is though, that shouldn't actually impact our total tax payment because those taxes would have gone to Massachusetts. Now, if, if Texas comes over and says, hey, give us some of that money. Okay, we give that money to Texas. Massachusetts doesn't get it but Massachusetts was gonna get it anyway, correct? So couldn't, no. couldn't this actually save us money if the tax rates on these other states are lower than Massachusetts? Mm. Yeah, but the problem is they aren't always immediate. So California comes down the road in two, three years and says, oh, look it, you should have allocated income over here. And we say, well, we didn't, we're sorry. And they say, that's okay, you can file a return for you know six years, pay the tax. And Massachusetts says, well, the statute of limitations is over, so we're not giving you anything. Oh, no. Mm. Uh, yeah. So then that's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. No, no. Double tax. Triple tax. Quadru yeah. However many Let's states. Those yeah. 50 states will pay 50 times the tax. Mm. Well, the problem, here's, a, here's the other problem. The problem is we didn't mm. file in California for the previous year, so that big loss never ended up in California. Fuck. Right. The $6 million of loss that's been shielding us, that's, that shield only exists at the federal level and in Massachusetts. Right. That's where the tax shield exists. Really? So it's like we popped out of thin air with a lot of profit as far yeah. as they're concerned. Yeah, for, for them, because well, what we're saying is, oh, we just started this year. And they say, oh, great, you had a full million dollar profit. So they want like 25 grand. Plus, yeah. What can great. you do? You, get, you well, pay them 25 grand, it's a shakedown. I know how this, this works. This is the options though. The other option is we could amend the previous year state tax returns and put the losses there. Can you do that? What is this amending tax returns? You can just go and say, hey, you know that form I gave you last year where I swore it was totally right and yeah. that, you know, under, like, I'm gonna go to jail if this is fabric. Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. We actually wanna take it. We wanna like erase these numbers and put in new numbers and California is just like, oh yeah, sure, that's great, okay. Yeah, that, that is, <laughs> that, yeah. At some point, when you're paying these governments millions of dollars, is there like some sort of like, bonus points, rewards cards. <laughs> or like, at some point, do I get like a gift basket? After 10, you know, star punch, stickers, punch card, it's yeah. like the next tax 
payment is. You can go to California and enjoy any road you like. <laughs> <laughs>